Now let's talk about meta directors. And one of the best ones is a nitro group. So let's start off with nitrobenzene. Now, if we have this and we have it attack an electrophile, it's a plus charge there, then Let's see what happens if we were to put this in the ortho position. And we'll do meta and para, and then we'll see why the meta um, position is the best in the cases of the meta directors. Of course, as the name would suggest. So we're going to have to draw, again, quite a few resonance structures to explain this. Now, this is the most important one to look at out of this bunch. So I'm going to go ahead and expand out what this kind of looks like. So if we were to transition these electrons down, we'll get a positive charge right here on that carbon. And hopefully you can see the problem. This is an electron withdrawing group. And if we put formal charges on it, you'll notice that the nitrogen has a positive formal charge. And now we have a, a resonance structure that puts a partial positive charge on the carbon right next to this electron withdrawing group nitrogen. This is not stable. This will actually be destabilized by the electron withdrawing group. Especially this structure. So that's a problem, and that's why we don't see much ortho uh, substitution when we're looking at something that like a nitro group, which is a meta director. Now let's look at the meta case, which naturally will not have that plus charge in the same position. Now, for the exact same reason that an electron with a donating group here was positive and, and helped with ortho uh, substitution, Having an electron withdrawing group here will do the exact opposite and destabilize that. So here we've done meta substitution. And let's look at all the resonance structures that we can draw for this. So we can see here that the ortho and meta positions respectively all have a partial positive charge on them. But notice how none of these partial positive charges appear on the carbon with the electron withdrawing group. So none of these are particularly destabilized. This positive charge does not appear next to the electron withdrawing group. 
Now, in the para, we will see a similar story uh, to the ortho um, situation, where a positive charge will end up right next to that electron withdrawing group. And again, that is why we will not see this. So we could start off with that, transition those electrons down, which will resonate with, again, the worst resonance structure for this. I guess it's, it's really kind of tied up here, same you know, structure, similar has the positive charge next to the electron withdrawing group, which is not stable. And of course we do have one more, just for completeness. Just like so. So hopefully we can start to see why electron withdrawing groups would tend to go in the meta direction whereas electron donating groups would tend to go in the ortho or para direction because they can stabilize that charge whereas electron withdrawing groups will destabilize that this case we don't see any of that drastic destabilization. So that is why uh, nitro groups and other electron withdrawing groups tend to go in the substitute in the meta positions.